Next, we have a position called horse stance. This is for your kidneys. We're going to start with our feet a little wider this time. Feet facing forward and knees out. I want you to tuck those hips just neatly under your shoulders. And turning at the waist, go ahead and turn and hold with your hands down, just as shown here. And just hold there and breathe for maybe five to eight breaths. You'll feel this. This is a little more physical than most of these. You'll feel it in the legs, but that's okay. Just keep that breathing going all the way down to the abdomen and hold the position. And after five to eight breaths, then you can go ahead and start switching sides, uh, twisting to the other one. Now, note here, you don't want to feel this on the inside of your knees. Your hips should be forward. And, uh, and if you are feeling on the inside of a knee, it's probably because you're turning your knee in. So keep those knees out. And think of wringing your spine out, nice and neat. Now, as you breathe, keep nice and relaxed thoughts. Gradually, your breathing will be able to get slower and slower, but without forcing it. This one's cranking a tap open all the way to the kidneys. It's very good for them. Now, here you can also see a side view. Okay, so as we go down, you can see the back is nice and straight, so the hips are directly underneath. Don't go lower than you can with those hips in like this. And go ahead and turn. So again, this is horse stance. Now, what happens if you can't twist? So if you have a spine issue, here's an alternate version. Instead of twisting, you're just going to pull those hands back and open up the chest. So again, here, if this uh, whole twisting thing doesn't work for you, just go ahead and pull everything back and you can keep your spine nice and straight. So this is a handy alternative to the regular horse stance for you.